All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Resident Evil 1 Remake. Last time around, we had some really good progress. Um, ended up unlocking quite a lot of stuff here in the Spencer Mansion, but at the same time, we definitely did not really finish up everything that we needed to do. We have a ridiculous amount of half-finished puzzles at this point, okay? Um, oh, really? 672 says he thinks the volume is too loud tonight. Would you like me to lower it a little bit? Hold on. I just lowered it a little bit. Please let me know if that sounds a little better. Um, so anyway, um, so here's where we're at, okay? We're in the Spencer Mansion, okay? And right now we're on the bottom floor, but we have not been able to explore the whole bottom right-hand part of the mansion yet. It's still blocked off to us, even with we have, we have the sword key and the armor key. Still locked, okay? On the left side of the mansion, we have cleared out a lot of the bottom floor, or at least done as much as we could. And now, basically, we're in a situation where a lot of those puzzles are blocked off to us. So, if we go to the second floor, okay? I know we have a couple different areas that we can explore on the second floor, alright? The first area that we can go would be the bottom right-hand corner of the second floor. There's a hallway, and in that hallway, there was our poisoned teammate. And he claimed that he had been bitten. So, we ran and got him the serum all the way on the other end of the, the, the mansion. We went back... And we definitely saved him from being poisoned, which is a good thing, right? Um, but now if we continue in that way, if I remember correctly, that is a boss fight. That is going to be a boss fight against a giant snake. At least that's what it was in the original Resident Evil. I don't really remember in the remake how different that is. So there may be uh, a, a giant snake in there. There may not be. All right. Either way, the only ammo I currently have right now is four grenade rounds and six incendiary grenade rounds. That's all I have. I don't have any other ammo. So maybe it's not a good idea <clears throat> to check that out right now, okay? What are other options? Well, we do have some ammo now. So if we wanted to, okay, um, we could basically go back to the, the west-hand side here or the left-hand side of the upper two-floor mansion. We go into that hallway that had the multiple zombies and the crimson head. If we kill them off, I think there's a corridor there we can open with one of our keys. But the problem was there were so many monsters in that hallway, we didn't want to deal with it. We didn't have ammo. So we kind of left it alone for a while, but we could always go back there um, and try to figure out, you know, could we kill them off with the grenades and, and try to do that? Is that the next logical thing that we should do? I don't know. Um, the other thing we could do, from, from the save room we're at, in this hallway from the save room, okay, there is a little door that opens, and it says you can only open it from this side, but if you open it, it seems like you wouldn't be able to reaccess it. So it seems like once we go through, we're stuck on the other side in that hallway, and we don't know what's over there. There's a hallway there. You can see there's a couple doors that maybe we can or can't open, but there's a series of doors there that we'd have to go through, and if I'm remembering correctly, coming up is the hallway with the devil dogs, the, the classic jump scare from Resident Evil 1 you know, in the 90s. And so, whoo if we're not ready, you know what I mean? We could, you know, we got to be ready for that shit, especially with grenades. I and mean, we have grenades, so we could just nuke the dogs, I guess, but... So there you go. Someone's asking, is this the GameCube? This is the remake that originally was made for the GameCube, but then in 2015 was remade again for PlayStation. I don't know if that means they tweaked the gameplay at all, but definitely they upgraded the controls, they upgraded the visuals for PlayStation 4. Okay, that's what we're playing. Boy, so I know that's a lot of, a lot to talk about, a lot of mouthful. I guess what we need to do, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I don't think I want to fight the snake yet. I don't feel confident fighting the snake with just the grenades. I wish we had more ammo. So I'm thinking we should either go to the west side again and try to get through that corridor with the with the three zombies, including the crimson head, and see if we can open those doors. Or we should just go through this door here and see what's through it and try to clear this whole area of the mansion out. Okay? People are saying it's still loud. I'll lower it a little bit more for you guys then. Okay, I lowered it a little more. Hopefully that's better. Okay, so I think that's what we're gonna do unless you guys think otherwise. All right Food was good Jay. Thank you for asking Um, so we got a, a shout out to do here. Uh, we've got <clears throat> excuse me MK ASP 316 did our first contribution to the night super chat. He says make sure you got your ball pock beef franks all beef franks ready There you go. That is a reference to my code Veronica playthrough from many many years ago I remember it was the middle of the summer I was sitting right here playing um, uh, Resident Evil Code Veronica on my PS4 digitally. 
and somehow I guess I had been clicking around on the web on my laptop and a pop-up ad opened up out of nowhere and it was a ballpark B Franks pop-up ad and it was loud and everyone could hear it me you know blaring out of my laptop and it scared everyone because we were playing a, a zombie game he said ballpark B Franks what the frick you scared me you can poop your pants okay so first of all I am at red health. Probably means I should heal myself. No. So I think we are going to bite the bullet. And I think we're just going to use this first aid spray. I, I think it makes sense. Okay. I think we should also put away the ink ribbons. Now. The one problem. Take a look at all the crap that I have in over here. Just seriously. Wind crest. A broken shotgun. A blue gemstone. The missing music. An emblem. A mask without eyes, nose, or mouth. It's like, wait a minute. I have all these items, right? But I don't know what, what any of these puzzles are or where they are. And not knowing that, that means that we're kind of stuck. Now, I don't have any fuel for the canteen. I might as well not even take it with me. Um, I'm almost thinking what we have is what I should take. The two keys, the rocket launcher. Excuse me, I keep saying a rocket launcher. The uh, grenade launcher and the ammo I have for it. And just kind of roll with it. And, uh, and see what we've got and see what we can do. Now, if I end up going through that hallway, it's a bad idea. We could always reload from in here, okay? That's what I'm thinking. All right. I received my first tip of the day. A $10 tip from Alex. He says, I'm loving your Resident Evil playthrough so far. Thank you for consistently putting out meaningful content. You're welcome, Alex. I'm glad you feel that way. And uh, thank you for the kind words and the support tonight. Enjoy this uh, troll getting blown off the cliff. There you go. <laughs> I love that. That was from last year's Skyrim playthrough, and it was such a good animation. I kept it. Here we are a year later, and I, I kept it. I was like, nah, we're keeping that one. Out of all the ones from Skyrim, that was the one worthy of being retained. Very nice. Okay. There we go. Solid says you may be coming across the broken shotgun room soon. <sighs> See, my, my concern is, after if I take the broken shotgun, now I've only got two inventory spaces, and what if we get two to three items for puzzles, right? And as you can see, so the room I'm talking about is the one in the hallway directly left to us, and you go down, it's that gray door, you end up in a hallway. And you get stuck. You have to go all the way back to this main hallway to end up there again. So. Oh, my God. All right. I guess maybe I'll take it. I, I might regret it. If their shotgun room is not there, I'm definitely going to regret this. But I'm going to take the hint from one of my viewers from Solid. Hopefully, Solid's doing me a solid and not depositing a solid in my toilet, if you know what I mean. I guess we're about to find out, okay? So, put my volume here. So this is the, the room I, we have not been in here yet because it says you're stuck. Watch. See, the door now looks like it's ready to fall apart. So when I go through, this door is like a one-way door. Here we go. Oh, boy. It's probably a bad idea. So, I think we should head left first. It's locked. The family emblem. The Spencer family emblem is carved into the doorknob. See, I have the Spencer... I have a crest, but I don't think it was the Spencer family crest, was it? I actually don't know. Hmm. Oh, there's a zombie right there. Forget him. <laughs> let's ignore that zombie and let's go through this door. MKASP to Super Jesse. You didn't need the shotgun. Oh, no. It's this puzzle. The title is written as follows. Bring the light of truth to the three spirits. Oh, no. Picture of a valiant wearing a bracelet. Set in yellow stained glass and there's a switch. No. Picture of a sage wearing a necklace. It's set in red stained glass. A switch. No. Picture of a saint wearing a crown. Set in yellow. 
There's a switch. No, not until I know what I'm doing. Okay. Picture of a saint wearing a crown. No. <laughs> not until I read them all. Another another one of these? Sage wearing a necklace. The Valiant again. Lisa protected by the three spirits. A picture of a woman wearing a bracelet, a necklace, and a crown. There's a switch at the bottom of the picture. The picture of the Valiant turned green. What happens if I push the picture of the other Valiant? Okay. The picture of the Valiant turned pure white. Could that have worked? Was that what it was supposed to be? Maybe you have to get them all to be white. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I have no idea. Little Crow just did a super chat. Says, we are the Jill Sandwiches. Well, thank you, Little Crow, for the super chat. I appreciate that. Uh, well, at least Jill did not become a Jill sandwich. We actually already passed that part, right? That was the puzzle with the with the key swap. So I think we were, we're long past that. But uh, now we're in our own mess of uh, puzzles here that are confusing. So I think... Sage wearing a necklace, set in red stained glass. Pressed it. The picture of their stage turned a deep red. Now what if we press the other one? Okay. Is this working? Lord Prince Albert, thanks for the super chat. I exercise as much as I can when I can, but it's certainly not as often as it was in the summer, that's for sure. Wait a minute. I got it. It has to match the color on the painting. The crown is green, so as long as one of them shows green, that's correct. It looks like... What color is the necklace? The necklace is purple, right? Oh, okay. We got it purple. All right. So now we got to get the other one orange. Nope. See, that's green. So that's not correct. So what if I turn the one on the other side off? What color does it become? We got it. That's got to be it. That matches all the colors. Okay, it was a color puzzle. Got it. Thank you, Tyler, for liking the stream. I appreciate that. Lord Prince Albert says he can't stay long. He has a cold, but stay strong. Thank you. All right, this should work. Oh, Jesus. Where's this going? I was not expecting this to go outside. All right, be careful here. Oh, it's a mask. Oh, we unlocked it. Sweet. We have a way back into the mansion. This is excellent. So once we grab this mask, we can go back into the main mansion. Wait a minute. Can't we just use this mask down there? Don't these masks get used in the cask room? So couldn't we just technically put it down there now and get it out of our inventory? I think we could. So we probably should pick it up. I think so. Anyway... Let's get Lord Prince Albert on the leaderboard. Yeah, this is a huge shortcut. If we didn't have this shortcut, this would have been a major pain in the ass to get around. 
So I'm pretty sure we're good. We can go out here, put drop the mask, and then come right back. Anything over here? No, it's just dead end, right? Okay. Get it? Which mask is this? The death mask. We have to investigate this death mask and see what the difference is from the other one. So, death mask. It's a death mask without a mouth. It has everything else, just no mouth. Okay. It has no mouth, but it must scream. Uh, woo! I think this is where you use the masks. Aha! Now we're talking. Good stuff. Good stuff. So that puzzle is complete. And we have a way back if we so choose. We don't need to go back yet. I said we just go back the way we just came. And we continue on in that hallway and see what else we've got. There is a zombie in our way. We might need to use a grenade to end it. To get through that hallway and see what's down there. Alright. MKASP, thank you for super chasing. How is Jasper? He is good. He is relaxing with Cat right now. Well, we all, both had our dinner and Cat was relaxing on the couch and basically taking a quick nap with Jasper Kitty. Which Resident Evil do I dislike the most? Uh, which Resident Evil do I dislike the most? Um, excuse me. Probably the original three. Because the original Resident Evil 3, to me, when I played it, didn't feel like a Resident Evil game. Like, it has a lot of departures from 1 and 2 including a, a startling lack of ink ribbons, a lot of cheap instant deaths that make reloads. Yeah, I didn't really like the original three. Two fucking grenades to kill one normal zombie, huh? That's a lot of grenades to kill a single zombie. I'm sorry. That actually kind of agitates me. So here's the thing. We can go through that hallway, but that hallway appears like it's going to get us up to another floor that we haven't been to yet, right? Yeah, it looks like we may be going to, like, either the basement or the third floor. So I don't know if I really want to go into that next hallway yet. What about if we go further down this way? That's where we came from, right? Yes. We can go further through this hallway. Hmm... Oh, sh I really didn't want to do this. He might come back now. I really didn't want to do this. Where the hell are we? I don't even know where this is. Something written in the indentation. The defiler of the accursed coffin. Oh, no! Devil dog! You fucking devil dog. At least he's barely did any damage. <sighs> that sucked. So we're... I mean, he's dead, so that's good. But I guess this is for later. So I guess once we clear out that coffin with the four death masks, this is where we go for the next part of the game. Okay. Would have been nice to know that before and not waste my time fighting the devil dog now. But it is what it is, I guess. Uh. Alright, this way. I don't know what's next. We're about to find out. So. We got a door streak right here. Picture of a knight mounted on a horse. What's in here? What room is this? What kind of room is this? 
It's obvious there's something on this wall or in the, it's something going on here. There's no, I can't access it right now, but there's something here. What the fuck is that? It's like a guy with like a, a pheasant, two pheasants on a stick. He's some dandy lad, and he's walking around with two pheasants on a stick or something. Yeah, look at this. Look at this room. The walls are so weird. What a dandy boy. What's through this room? Traces of something burnt. An acid smell permeates the air. Picture stands of bronze statues. Nothing of interest. We have an ink ribbon. And look at this. Okay. The real shotgun. And that's why I want to put the fake shotgun here. Because if you don't, that other room is where you get squished. So now we can use the real shotgun and stop wasting grenade ammo. That is excellent. There's a trick to easily kill a dog. You shoot it once with a handgun while it's down. You swap to the knife and you stun lock it to death. Sadly, I don't have any, any handgun ammo. I, I played two hours last time. I did not find a single piece of, of handgun ammo. So whatever difficulty this is, this is like the don't use a handgun run or something. It's ridiculous that there's no handgun ammo anywhere in it. But there's none. So, And now, sadly, I only have one inventory spot. So I'm kind of boned is what I was nervous about. Is that I was going to end up out of inventory spots. And... I already have a dagger. Now I have two daggers. Well, that's good. Two survival knives. Okay. All right, we should be good. We got the shotgun, right? We're good. Okay. Didn't I start with a handgun? I have no ammo. I told you. you know, when we started the game, we had like six to ten bullets, and we found one clip in the whole game so far. So I, oh, I totally had like a dozen bullets. That's not even enough to kill like two zombies in this game. So. Oh no. This is the. Oh no. This is the dog room coming up. I can't see. I can't. What the hell? What the fuck is this? Why the hell did the camera just do that? <laughs> I couldn't see where I was going. The camera screwed me. I ended up walking in a circle the whole time. I couldn't just go around the corner. The camera kept going. Rrr, rrr, rrr. <laughs> well, that sucks. Now there's going to be 100 zombies out there when I go out there. Anyway. I received a $2 tip. This tip is from Dunlap Birdman's New Year's Eve celebration. Went horribly long. His henchman Jimmy didn't properly fasten the cage down. The New Year's Eve bird escaped before it could let out a beautiful cry. At midnight, Birdman hopped in his truck and chased after the rare bird. What the frick are you talking about? Oh my god. Uh, thanks for the $2 tip. I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay. So now, sadly, I gotta waste all my handgun ammo, or all my shotgun ammo, because I'm gonna have to go out here and blow all these zombies away. Blows. He's not coming back. This one is going to come back. Oh, hi. Hello. I shot him point blank and the game acted like I never did anything. And he hit me. And now I'm going to have no ammo again. Looks like the water still works. Full of dirty water. Remove the plug. Here we go.
Now search that toilet. Another dagger? Now I have three daggers. And two shotgun shells. And that's literally it, huh? I guess this hasn't been serviced in a while. All the zombies have been taking dumps in it, but no one actually cleaned it. I see. It's like it's big get it's a giant pile of duty. No one ever flushed it. It's just sitting <laughs> A giant combination pile of turds. But no one's ever cleaned it. A mountain of shit. Use the lockpick. Okay, this is an outdoor area. Let's see what's out here. Mountain of shit. There's a dog out here. Oh, is it outside the fence? What is this? Oh. A chemical to use on plants? I don't have room for this. And there's green herbs. And I can't grab any of these. And I don't have... Oh, duh. Seriously? Once we get through that hallway, which has dogs in it, I'm sure of it, okay? Then we can go through this door back to the main hallway. We can regroup. We can dump off a bunch of items. We can come back through here and gather all this shit again. But they do this all the time. They'll load you with items you just can't fucking pick up. It's done completely on purpose. Okay. Give me all the items now when I you know you can't I can't pick them up. You know I got to make multiple trips back here, right? <clears throat> okay. Okay, are we good? Still green, but now we're going to have the dog room. I'm one million percent sure this is the dog room. I was, I was so traumatized as a child playing this game that I know there's dogs that are going to burst through the windows in this room. Are you guys ready? Three, two, one, go! Okay, I can get rid of the sword key now. Sweet. I fucking told you. Crimson Head. But he can't come through because I left it blocked. Crimson Head and he can't come through. That's beautiful. Thank God I left it blocked, huh? Alright. And let's keep it blocked. <laughs> well, well, well. So, we have so many items, and <laughs> it's ridiculous how many items I have right now. Um, where to even go at this point? So, we definitely have to make a, set, a trip back. When we make the trip, oh, there was actually an item in the dog hallway as well. Which I didn't realize because you have to kill the dogs to get whatever item that is. I don't know if it's an important item or not. Um, I don't think we can open this one yet, right? Isn't this the shield? No, helmet. There's helmet and a shield as well that we don't have yet. Okay. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So let's think about this. What should I do, right? Um, hmm. Oh, really? If you mash buttons when an enemy grabs you, you get... I didn't even know that. I'm being told in this version, if an enemy grabs you and you mash buttons, you'll free yourself more quickly. And then you'll save health. I had no idea. I don't think it was like that in the original, was it? I did. I wasn't even aware of that. Okay, thank you for telling me. Now I feel stupid because I know I lost a bunch of health there. Oh, we go back to the second floor and literally just go through all the hallways again to get back to the save room. And... You know, uh, burp really loudly, disgustingly. We could circle back to the room and get the healing items or get the kerosene. Honestly, the healing items and the kerosene aren't that important, I don't think. 
What I'm thinking is we either fight the snake boss next or we go to the upper left-hand side of the mansion, that hallway that has the fucking three zombies in it, and we try to clear that out and we try to see what's there. Then again, I don't even think we can kill the, the crimson head there without without kerosene, can we? Don't you need to knock it down and burn it? It doesn't die if you don't burn it. Can't remember. I honestly can't remember. Hmm. Really? Well, that's cheap because I didn't know that. Google says back in the day if you had a turbo controller on PS1 and you just held down the button, it would completely negate any damage. That's some bullshit. MKASP did another super chest. How's Jasper? He is good. Thank you for asking. That's the last one I see. MKASP. And I swear I, I swear I read that out. And I said he's downstairs relaxing with Kat. Didn't I say that? That's the last one I see here. Oh, uh, so do I go back and fight a hallway with three zombies, one of them being a crimson? Or do I go fight the snake? If I fight the snake, I've got to take the incendiary ammo with me for sure. I think I think we'll fight the snake. But I think we should we gotta go back to the second floor. Let's trade out our items. Let's heal up. Let's do everything necessary first. That's the snake. We gotta we gotta not do that yet. We gotta go back to the save room, save up, because I have to get rid of these ink ribbons too. Uh yep, this is it. <clears throat> Crimson's can be killed, killed normally, they will not come back. Okay, thank you for telling me. Did I like the change in style between Resident Evil 5 with Resident Evil 5 and 6 as Dark Galbot? Let me put it this way. I didn't mind it. But by 6, it definitely didn't feel like you were playing Resident Evil. It still was a damn good game. Like, I really like Resident Evil 6. I think it's a great action game with horror elements and it's fun co-op. I mean, it certainly doesn't feel like Resident Evil. And maybe that's where everyone's problem was because they didn't like where the series had gone, right? Alright, we definitely don't need this. We can get rid of this shit, right? Now what we can do... Hold on. Yep, we're going to take that. We're gonna put this one away. We are going to take the shotgun ammo. And I gotta take healing items. First of all, I should use a healing item right now. Um, I might as well just use the mixed herb. We have other herbs, plus we have, we know there's a red herb and more green herbs out in that other room I can get at a later date. So I think we'll get the mixed herbs. Should I mix all three of these herbs together to make a triple green and then have that as a backup if I need it? Oh my god, how big is this fucking item box? It's like 400 items. MKASP did another super chat. Do you believe in the paranormal? It's not that I believe or disbelieve. It's that I've never experienced any of it. So because of that, I don't really have a... Uh, you know, any evidence of it existing, and therefore I'm not like, oh yeah, it's real. At the same time, I'm not gonna say, no, it's not. Uh, I think a lot of people tend to do that. There we go. They tend to just, they write off what they don't know or don't don't have experience with. Maybe the, maybe paranormal stuff does exist. Or maybe it's just things we can't explain. It's not necessarily ghosts or magic, but it's something scientific. We just don't know how it works yet. Take a look at UFOs, right? Just recently, there's been evidence of UFOs, but we don't know what they are. Are they aliens or could it just be something else that's natural on Earth we're not aware of, right? Who knows, right? So for me, I like to keep an open mind, but at the same time, no, I'm not going to be like seeking it out and I'm not going to go crazy believing. You know what I mean? Oh, shit. What did I just do? I got rid of the knife. So let's save the game. I think we're going to be fighting the snake now. Uh, I think that's our next course of action. I'll use the incendiary grenade rounds against the fucker. Try to burn his face off. See if it works. Okay. Alright. And let's equip, uh... 
Well, I guess we'll keep the shotgun for now until we get into the snake room. I don't think there's any new enemies, but just in case, we get a nasty surprise. Guys, if you are enjoying tonight's stream, please consider supporting it in any of the various ways. Currently, right now, we have almost 400 viewers, which is great for a late night stream. Thank you for that. If you would enjoy the stream, I would ask if you could give it a like. It's an easy way to, to help this channel, to bring more engagement, to have more people be able to find DSP Gaming on YouTube. Even though I've been around for, you know, uh, 13 years, it's still hard to be found on YouTube uh, for a smaller channel like mine. So it would be great if you could get, hit the like button if you're having a good time. Super chats, super stickers, memberships, gifted memberships, tips, all appreciated. They all help a lot. Uh, thank you in advance to anyone who supports in any way. We actually have tiered rewards for... Uh, excuse me. <clears throat> we actually have tiered rewards for tips, including me putting on gunner glasses or you get to vote on a silly hat for me to wear or a vest. I actually have a new Pokemon vest that a fan donated to me today. I, it was a belated Christmas present. That would be pretty neat. But uh, thank you in advance to anyone who contributes to the stream in any way. We have Barely Legal, who actually just gifted a membership to the channel, and it went to Ryan Wilson. So congratulations to Ryan on your gifted membership. <clears throat> Don't forget the chemical. Why? I have to fight the snake. Why do I care about the chemical right now? I don't need the chemical to kill the snake. Now people are yelling at me to bring the chemical. Why? You don't need that to kill the snake. It's a boss fight in the attic, right? Unless this is different from the first game. In the first game, the snake's in the attic. You kill it. You get some items in there. You don't need the chemical to kill the snake. The chemical is to kill the plant. The mutant plant later. Right? Oh, are you telling me there's no snake? Am I thinking... Now you guys are really confusing me. What's next then? I thought it was the snake boss. What else bit the guy? Everyone's yelling at me to go get the chemical. I wasn't going to bring it. But people are yelling at me to get it. Okay? Fine, we'll go get the chemical. If you say so. You're going to yell at me. You're going to be... You're upset with me if I don't get it, so I better go get it before I get chastised by my chat. I mean... Chemical to use on plants. Chemical agent that destroys plant growth. Herbicide. It is interesting that when you examine it, it gives you a more specific description, right? What happened to the pistol for my Barry Burton costume? I believe it's still uh, in, in a costume bag. Like, if I remember, what was my other costume that year? I had two costumes that year. I was Colonel Sanders. It's probably with Colonel Sanders hanging in my closet on the other side of the house. Okay. I think it's time to exterminate a snake. What do you guys think? Had it with these motherfucking snakes and this motherfucking Spencer Mansion, these motherfuckers. Okay. The others. Motherfuckers. Oh shit. That's not what I wanted to do, you stupid idiot. Why'd you change the camera? <laughs> okay. Oh my god, it's super dark in here. I can't see anything. Uh, no, I'm not picking this up yet. I don't have inventory space for it. Not until I figure out if I want it. I don't have the gun with me. I can't fuck. It's so dark. Push this fucking thing. Push the goddamn thing. 
She refuses. What if I push it the other way? Okay, this way. That's the way you're supposed to do it. Now, there's no way there's going to be a zombie in here. Oh, it's fucking shit! <laughs> what? He's stuck! Oh, come on! Now, how am I supposed to get in there if the fat fuck is stuck? I, obviously, I need to go in there. Oh shit, you didn't die. Now he died. Fuck you. Too dark to see much of... It's too dark to see much of anything. You guys told me to bring the chemical, but you didn't tell me to bring the lighter. Ugh. Oh. Man, if only I had some herbicide to light up this room right now. I mean, oh, how useful that herbicide is right now. I really, you know, I should snort some of it. <laughs> God damn it, guys. Come on, man. Come on. Got to be fucking kidding me. Now he's going to fucking come back as a crimson head. Alex Roberts to the Super Jetty says, You light up my world. Also, I didn't pick up the clip. <laughs> I didn't pick up the clip either. Why didn't I pick up the clip? Okay, ASP did a super chat. He says, don't forget the lighter. Putting the knife in the storage only because I don't think it really does anything at this point. I don't think I need it. What I do need is the lighter to see what the fuck I'm doing in there. See? That's what I need.
I'm putting this in there because I think you guys are wrong, and I don't think I use that anytime soon. I think you guys are full of crap. Because I walked all the way there. Just follow your heart. Follow my heart. Follow your heart. Where's my heart going? Hopefully my heart's staying in my chest. Oh, you 100% need the chemical soon? Okay, so how about this? Why don't you store the chemical up your fucking ass and then I'll uh, rip it out when I need it. Because right now I'm a little busy with other shit, all right? <laughs> I don't know for this. I need the shield key to open that door. At least now I know, but I need I got the lighter. We can see what's actually in this room. All right, let's uh let's head in here. Let's see what's in the room, shall we? Let's go over here. There's gotta be a lamp in here somewhere, right? Alright, now I can see what I'm doing. Another clip! Oh, there was a hidden clip inside. There you go. Now, now hold on a second. The light is clearly out here on the table. How can you see in this dark ass fucking thing here? We got the musical score. So now we can combine that with the other sheet music. We can go downstairs and play Moonlight Sonata and drink the entire top shelf of the high-end liquor. Sounds good to me. Probably got some Bombay Sapphire in there, some fucking Carvassier. They probably got that, uh, what's that? Royal, Crown, Crown Royal shit? That stuff's expensive, man. All right. Well, at least we got the sheet music. Now we got to backtrack again, go back to a save room again, grab all that shit again. Because we got to combine the musics. Why didn't you tell me that the door was locked, you fucking asshole? Wait a minute. How'd he get bit by the snake if the door is locked with the shield key? How does that even make sense? This, I think that motherfucker's holding out on me. I think he has the shield key and he won't give it to me. Do I have any gin left? Of course I do. Yeah, I have a lot of gin left. So, we can combine the music. We can definitely go down to the piano and do the Moonlight Sonata shit. That ain't much I know. I don't know what else I need after we play the piano, though. I don't know what we get for playing the piano. How would I rate the Christmas gin compared to its cost, value-wise? You know, I don't even know how much it costs. That day, I just went to the liquor store, and I bought the Kahlua. I bought the sake. I bought the orange liqueur. I bought the gin. I bought the, the uh, horchata. I bought it all together. I don't individually know, actually, what it costs, so I can't really answer that. The complete musical score of Moonlight Sonata. So there you go. I think we can get rid of the lighter now, huh? I think so. I think we just get rid of it now. We don't need it. And obviously, if I'm not going to bring that gun with me, I don't need the clip. All right, we're gonna go try. I don't know what we need after after we play Moon Knight Sonata. I don't know what else we're supposed to do. So let's go do it. Let's see what we get. And then based off of that, we'll probably have to come back to another save room and we'll probably do inventory management and save. And then we'll uh, 
figure out what we're doing next. All right, so... Well, now, wait a minute. How much inventory space do I have? That was stupid. Three spots? Now, if I... Hold on a second. Okay, if I go into the hallway again and I juke some of those zombies, correct? What I'm trying to think of is can I grab some of those items that were in the side room? If you remember, there was a red herb, at least two green herbs, and there was also a kerosene container. But I need to get past the hallway of a couple zombies to do it, and that might not be ideal. I might take some damage, but it could be worth it. If I can grab those items and then come back here, it could be pretty worth it. Right? Hmm. Hmm. Kerosene and a few healing items, but I have to dodge zombies or say fuck it. Good evening, Bruzy. We also hit 100 likes, so thank you guys. Let's get, let's do a celebratory bubble blow. Thank you for the engagement tonight, everyone. Celebratory bubble blow for you. Jack says you have two clips you can kill the zombies. It's kind of a waste, I feel, to waste ammo on the zombies. You know, I do have... Uh, I do have... The knives. Fuck this. MKASP did another super chest. Don't forget, don't forget the lighter. Ah, fuck the lighter. I don't care. Okay. Thank you, Bruce. He said, watch, you watch your Warzone video. What an epic win. I hope to achieve that someday. I'm sure you will. No worries. If I can do it, you can do it, because I'm certainly no good. Gotta love these camera angles. Okay. Ugh. Oh, okay, we're back. Moonlight Sonata time. Thank goodness that we have a path to a save room now with no enemies in it. It's a little convoluted. Actually, no, we don't, do we? Yes, we do. We go upstairs. That's right. We go right through the upstairs. No problem. Okay. Here we go. Wait a minute. Where's the Moonlight Sonata room? Further down the hallway. Okay. What I want... Darth Goblock wants to know what I want a more modernized version of this game with modern control. I want the game to be remade with modern graphics, modern controls, but it's a new game. Like, I want it to be Resident Evil 2 remake. This is definitely Resident Evil 1 with some new elements and graphics, but it still feels like Resident Evil 1. Like, Resident Evil 2 feels like you're playing a brand new game, right? Here we go. I have no clue what we get for this. Hold on to your butts. Trevor's Diary. 
November 24th, 1967. 11 days passed since arriving on the estate. How'd I end up like this? A guy in a lab coat brought me a meager plate of food and he said, sorry to put you through this, but it's for security reasons. That's when it hit me, it all makes sense now. There are only two people that know the secret of this mansion, Sir Spencer and myself. If they kill me, Sir Spencer will be the only person that knows the secret. Well, for what purpose? It doesn't matter now, it's too dangerous here. My family, you know, I hope they're all right. I decided to escape. Jessica, Lisa, I pray you're safe. November 26, 1967, how could I be so careless? I lost my favorite lighter, the one Jessica gave me for my birthday. Now it's going to be that much harder to escape this dark place. November 13th, the date when my fate was sealed. My aunt was hospitalized just three days before that. Jessica and Lisa said that they were going to visit her. I wish I could be here with them. But wait, even as I'm writing my memory, it's coming back to me more vividly. Just before I passed out, I remember the men in the lab coat said something like, Moist? Moist? Most likely, excuse me, your family is already. I pray for their safety. November 26th, good lord, and by the way, are they insinuating that the lighter you found is this guy's lighter? Because that's preposterous. 1967 to the 1990s, did they really believe that in 25 plus years, that lighter still had fuel in it that didn't dry up? That's pretty ridiculous. Anyway, November 27th, 1967, <clears throat> somehow I managed to get out of that room. Getting out of this mansion won't be easy. I have to get past all these booby traps. Tiger eyes, gold emblem. I have to try and remember for my own sake. It's gold all around the outer edges due to frequent fitting. Well, now we know we need to go get that other emblem, come back here and flip the two. And where did we get that original emblem from? The dining room. So that's where we're going to use it, which is right around the corner. The bummer is we got to go back to a save room now to go grab the emblem out of storage because we didn't know we needed the emblem for this room. That's okay, though. We have a way to get there fast. It's not a huge deal. It's just time-wasting. This game, much like a lot of early survival horror games, has an insane amount of backtracking and inventory management, and there's not much you can do about it. You could stand around and whine and complain. You could stomp your feet. You could say, this is a waste of time. This is bullshit. This game is tedious nonsense. This game isn't scary. It's boring. Because it must waste my time. I'd rather fucking stick a cactus up my dick hole than fucking play this game again. You could do that. You could do that. However, I came from an era when basically every game of this type was like this. Like, there was a lot of games with insane amounts of backtracking and stuff. So, I'm totally used to it. And for me, this isn't that big of a deal. We'll go over here. We'll go back to the save room. We'll grab the emblems. We'll swap the emblems. We'll be back, you know. We'll be fine within the nick of time. It's not going to be a big deal. Right? That made you think of AVGN? Sticking a cactus in your dick hole? I don't think he's ever said that. I don't think so. Sing the backtracking song from Code Veronica. I don't know the backtracking song from Code Veronica. If there is one, I probably made it up on the fly. And you guys probably remember it because you've watched the playthrough over and over. I've never, I've literally never rewatched my Code Veronica playthrough once. I don't really remember it. So, I, I couldn't sing a backtracking song. Sorry. All right, so we're definitely going to need the emblem. That's going to what we're, we're going to swap for the other emblem and then use that emblem in, obviously, the dining room, right? Since people keep telling me we're going to need it, I'll grab the herbicide. And since it seems like it may be important, we'll probably grab the lighter, all right? And in this case, since we just did a lot, I think this does warrant a save. We do have five ink ribbons. I think this is okay to save at this point. Okay. Put this away. And, alright. We're definitely going to get rid of this soon. I don't know what we're going to get in place of it, but we're going to get rid of it soon. 
I also feel like we're almost done with the armor key. Like I said, I think there's one room in that hallway with those stupid zombies that I need to use this, and then this key is done and we can get it out of our inventory, but it's just a little frustrating. I'm stuck until we can find a way to clear them out, right? All right. We're gonna now back all the way back, go back there, swap out the emblems, and uh, and we're gonna see what's next, because I don't know what we're getting next. I have no clue. There's definitely some people who are like trolling me and saying you need things I don't need. I know that for a fact that I'm getting some trolling going here. Okay. Great graphics for the time. Yeah, this was what, 2003? I want to say this was 2003. The original came out in like 96. And then within like seven years, the graphics had dramatically advanced. I mean, just look at, look at this game compared to Resident Resident Evil 1 on the PS1. It's like light years ahead. Now, keep in mind, this is the PS4 version. It does run a little better, right? The loading certainly is insanely better, but for the most part, it's the same game from what I'm to understand as the GameCube version. So, I would say the GameCube version was outstanding. What's crazy to me is that it was only on GameCube. What a, what a lost opportunity to have that cross-platform and make an insane amount of money on it. That's probably why the GameCube version of this is so rare. People say if you try to buy this on GameCube, it's like crazy expensive. Jade, no problem. If you have to go to bed, you have to go to bed, my friend. I'm glad that you joined me today for uh, the stream so far. God of War was great, right? Yeah. Fuck. Stupid camera. go so now we use this shitty emblem <clears throat> we use the gold emblem in the dining room we see what we get hopefully something good I really hope something good commemorating the completion of the mansion who cares about that get me the fuck out of here I didn't mean to read that <laughs> Something tells me I'm into something good. Oh, really? Bob, I'm wrong about that? Bone says you can get the GameCube version of this for 25 bucks. Wait, what? Okay. What game is it that's really expensive for GameCube? Isn't there a Resident Evil game for GameCube that's, like, super expensive? I remember looking into it at one point ages ago, and it was so expensive I didn't want to get it. The clock puzzle open. Okay. A picture of two knights striking each other. The short sword has been thrust into the breast of one knight. That would be... Like, two... It's not 3 p.m. 2 p.m. While the long sword has pierced the head of the other. 9 p.m. would be left, so that's like 10 When the two run each other through the path to your destiny will open. Looks like you can turn the gears inside the clock. No, 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 no. I got an idea. I have an idea. The small sword is stabbing the guy in the chest. 
the the sharp sword is stabbing the guy in the head the long sword so the small hand probably needs to go to the body armor and the long has to go to the helmet that's my guess at first i thought it was the direction of time now i think it's in relation to where they're being stabbed on the body i believe i received a five dollar tip from mishael so this is a really chill game thank you mishael i uh i agree except for the, the rage when a zombie ch chases me but outside of that uh, i am enjoying it very much i hope you guys are too thank you mishael for the five dollar tip i really appreciate that because as you can see Tips have been quite slow tonight. Everything else has been all right, but the tips have been kind of slow, so thank you for that. Good place to split the part as well, so here we go.